talking. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what I did several years ago with Mixcraft after I just downloaded it. And I'm going to show you the process I went through and uh, a little bit of the theme that I wrote at that time. And I'm going to be showing you something really cool in this system which I'm just experimenting with. And that's called Melodyne. So I'm going to start up Mixcraft right now. I'm going to plug in the electric guitar. So what I did a number of years back, I played this little chord progression. And I'm going to show you how in Melodyne you can actually take that and create a MIDI file which you can use to use all kinds of different effects and you can process it just like any other MIDI file. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record so I'm just going to right click and say insert a track I'm going to insert an audio track and then on that audio track I'm going to arm this okay so so here's how it goes so so let's have a listen okay so that's that's good so so I'm going to come in there and and do my chords and then I'm going to show you how this will be able to change into a MIDI file so here we go so I'm going to go back and hit the record button and here we go Okay, so that's that. All right, so let's have a have a listen to that. See how that comes out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to switch to the mixer down here. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is put this guitar away and I'm going to show you how the Melodyne feature works. So what I found out is if I double click on my my guitar track over here, what it does is it puts that down on the bottom over there. And if you go down here, there's a there's a little button here that says Melodyne. And if you haven't installed this already, then it will ask you to, to sign in and you have to create an account with Melodyne. But I've already done that, so I'm going to close this one. So if you notice here, look what it's done. It's created, it's created a track with, you can see the different notes on the piano roll here. So it recognizes the notes and it separates them. So that's really cool. Now what I can do too is I can, if I right click on the track that I just made, I can say convert audio to MIDI. All right, now if I do that, what happens is it just created an additional MIDI track. So with that MIDI track, let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at that. So that's our MIDI track. If I, if I solo that track, we'll hear what that sounds like. So it's right now it's got by default it's got just a generic piano sound. So so there are some things so that's with the additional stuff. So just right away without without having to add anything I was I was able to I was able to do the guitar and uh, do the piano and uh, I've got of course I've got the drum beat too. So so what I'll do next, I'm going to add a bass. Okay, so now we've got the bass track. What I'm going to do here is I already set up a new track, which is 
right now set to acoustic piano. So I set up a MIDI track and what I'm going to do is copy that same track that we created from the original guitar and I'm going to um, just copy that and paste it into this new track over here. All right, so now we've got a copy of that and then I'm going to add some additional instruments. Uh, let's see if I go down here. Majestic trumpet. How about that? Let's give that one a shot. So now let's let's try this. Wow, how's that? Look, so that's all with just playing three notes on an electric guitar. All right, so that's it for this week. I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. And I'd just like to remind you, please subscribe to the channel if you didn't already. And if you like it, hit the like button, leave a comment below. And having said all that, as I always say, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon.